It is no secret that I love music. And especially <laughs> when it comes into anime. I mean, that's why I do a live, uh, live drumming every Sunday uh, to anime intros because I love music and I love to share it. Now, there is one particular anime that I think is a, a, a fantastic anime, music anime, and that is Bochi the Rock. Bochi the Rock has easily become one of my like go-to animes for for music and it's just fun and it's it's got everything I could have asked for. Now, when I when I went to to Japan, I knew that there were like as well with many other animes. There are real life inspiration places into animes. And there was one in Bochi the Rock, which it's the one that I really wanted to go experience something that only local people in Japan experience, which is an underground rock concert. So I looked up if um, if this place was was a thing and I found a TikTok that showed that, in fact, yes. Estare, estare, uh as as they call it in the in the anime, is a real venue where a lot of underground Japanese bands play, play at, and I was like, I don't care who plays, I just want to go and experience it, and so I did. Let me tell you, this place is so <laughs> so Japanese that there was not a way for me to buy tickets in the U.S. I had to buy them there. The tickets that I bought online, I needed an address and a telephone number from Japan in order to like retrieve them. So that was uh, that was a pain. So that did not happen. But thankfully, you know, uh, I was able to go to to the concert. And let me tell you, I was expecting the concert to start to open the doors at seven. It said that it started at seven. And for the opener to go, and then for uh, the the band that was going to play real to go, but no, <laughs> there was no opener <laughs> at seven. Real started playing, and prior to going to the concert, I did a little bit of research on who real was, and I got to find out that they actually did an opening for Pokemon called Mirai Connection. <laughs> Now, Mira Connection is very poppy, and it's not necessarily indicative of the style that they play. They play very raw rock. And it's fantastic. I actually became a fan. And then when I went to the concert, uh, they did not allow recording. And in a way, I'm glad I did manage to record something. Before they told me not to record it. And but uh, to see the passion that these girls have, to see how uh, devoted they are to the fans, it was just a pleasure. So if you want to go, just, you know, it, it's cool to go and take the picture like, hey, I, I am at the at the bocce uh, bar, but go in, like support the bands, buy some merch. I bought a, a shirt, a CD and a, and a um, wristband. And it, it was it was very nice to see during the concert, the vocalist stop a minute to thank the fans thank the music and thank the band because she had some troubles for what i was able to understand uh, but music gave her what what she needed and she was tearing up in the middle of of her speech and all i gotta say is like that they're they're just very real no pun intended i really liked the way they played and that's how i became a fan of real now, if you have not listened to their music, I suggest that you do. They are great, especially if you like rock music and raw rock music that is not like 
as heavily produced like you can you can feel the the feeling that this gear this girls have so that's it i just wanted to share how i i met this band and how i became a fan of theirs so that's it so thank you bocce and thank you real